thumbnail. So this week, I'm doing something I've been neglecting. Um, so my house plants are a thirsty, but b they're also just kind of. Some of them need some TLC. They need leaves removed. They need fertilized. They need aerated. They need they need a, they need a, like a full little makeover. Um, so I thought it'd be fun today if we. I'll do like a little planting get together. So get your watering can, get your fertilizer, get your aerator tools, get your freaking clippers out, and let's take care of these guys. I'm gonna get started on that now, I guess. Cool. Uh, comment down below if you know what's what this quote is from. I'll pin your comment. I'll pin it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull everyone down from their spots because I want to touch every plant to make sure that every plant is getting taken care of. I'm gonna try and do that thing where like, I like, wow. <laughs> so, all of my shelves are empty. I have a bucket of water. Here's all the plants that we're gonna work on. We're gonna do liquider plant food. Um, so it's it's an all-natural organic fertilizer that has like everything you'd ever want. Oh god, I just made a mess already. Okay, cool. Let's start with a few stick begonia. So, I'll show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take the plant, and then I'm going to lower him into the bucket. And I'm going to just dip him. I don't want to lose soil in the water, so I'm going to be pretty mindful while I'm doing this. And then let him drain. And then while he's draining, I'm going to look at him to make sure he's doing okay. He was a little close to my grow lights, so some of his leaves are a little bleached, but that's fine. Um, he probably needs a little fertilizer too, because I don't think I've ever fertilized him, because I got him this year, this spring. So I'll let him drain there, dip, drain, and remove any type of dead leaves or anything like that. I'm going to do this Calathea. Calathea. I always love when plant people call them Calatheas. <laughs> Which, they're hard. Calatheas are super hard. And it's because they're sensitive to the salt in our water. They want, like, purified water. But, I, I mean, who has the time? Let's do my Crystallianum. So Crystallianum, he's got a dead leaf. So my Crystallianum removed his dead leaf. Um, he's got lava rock on top of him. Lekka. People call it Lekka. The Oxalis. I'm sorry, Oxalis. <laughs> oh, so this is one of those, we need to take off all this dead. Is this riveting content or what? How are you guys doing though? Getting ready for fall? You guys going on trips? I'm going on a trip this weekend. I'm gonna go camping. Probably bring you guys with me for part of it. It's a cool boy. Yeah. yeah, I can't believe how fast the summer has like flown by. It's like quite insane to me. The summer just like flew by that fast. But it's like so did spring because we were in quarantine. Like time is not making sense anymore. One of my bro marks. Looks really nice. Philodendron Mikeans. He got used for 
the crystal grid video. He's putting off new growth at the top since we trimmed his um, trimmed him down to make that crystal grid propagation crystal grid. But he's one of my favorite plants. I love him. He's just the best. This is a type of Tradescanti. I believe they call it Moses in a cradle. I'm gonna remove all the the dead leaves from him. He was one of the first house plants I ever got. Like he was tiny. He was in like a four inch pot at like Macy's or something. Harmons. I used to buy all my house plants at Harmons. <laughs> he is so funky. I love him. But like he looked so shaggy. I mean he looked horrid. This is you know why we're doing this. Cause some things just need like a little love. Don't we all? Also note that if you have any plants that are sick, do not put them in the bucket with the group. Because if it has some type of sadness happening, you could all your plants could, could become sad. Okay, so all the plants are watered. So now I just have to clean the shelves. My shelves get a little dirty. And it just feels nice to have them all nice and clean. So, see like that. I'm just gonna go through with a little Windex to make everything nice and sparkly and then start putting everybody back on, so. guys so I got everybody back on their shelves everyone under their lights I shuffled some stuff around that needed more lights and that were getting a little too much light they've been moved just a nice little shuffle everything's nice and clean everything's thoroughly watered and it feels super good to be done everything looks nice I feel like I can kind of just relax around the plants. I don't have to look at any brown leaves or anything like that. So I've got myself set up for at least the next two months, I feel, with just like a little bit of weekly maintenance here and there, we'll be set. Um, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave it a like. If you have any questions about plants, go ahead and leave those in the comments down below. I am happy to help, like 100%. If you have something complicated, if you have something easy, get in the comments, I will help you. Of course, don't forget to subscribe. If you like plant-based content, earth-based spirituality content, crystals, good vibes all around, then go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week. I'll be here and I'll be back. See you later.